to evacuation warnings in effect. That's right. KCAL News reporter Jeff Nguyen live in Ventura near the pier this afternoon with the current conditions mm -hmm. there. Jeff? Susie and Juan, the water level right now is about ankle deep, and the reason for that is because the storm drain right there completely backed up. So you've got water and mud basically going onto the street. As you can see from my boot, it's very sticky right here. It's almost like a suction cup on the ground, making it very hard to move. Some of this water is moving in this direction. It goes right into the parking lot right there for Ventura Beach, which is completely closed right now. And beyond that is the pier. That, too, is closed because of the storm. East Harbor Boulevard in Ventura has been closed to traffic since Friday. One reason, flooding. Despite that, the driver of this truck tested their luck. The impact on traffic from this latest storm is something Ryan Reed and his mom had to contend with during their road trip from San Diego to San Francisco. Mostly we're just taking it slow, checking the weather and roads. Uh, we won't do Big Sur, obviously. That's been cut off for a while. The sunroof of Daniela Zoni's SUV broke over the weekend while she was visiting friends in San Luis Obispo. She's resorted to a patchwork of plastic to get her home safely to San Diego. I just literally just taped it with some Gorilla tape, duct tape. Um, it was fine for, you know, a while, maybe like 30 minutes ago. I, I felt a drop on my head. And I was like, oh, I, there's probably a hole. I should probably, you know, tape it back up. Ventura County has posted an interactive map on its website with information on evacuation warnings. One spot of concern is this RV park, which flooded in January and hasn't reopened since. Along the Ventura River, the Sheriff's Department says deputies delivered warnings on Monday to people at the river's bottom to move to higher grounds before more rain falls. The Ventura Pier has been closed since January after storms knocked out several pilings. Some of the debris is still on the beach, which is normally a draw for customers at Eric Erickson's fish company. I think yesterday we did, compared to last week, we did like about 50% less in uh, sales. Scaling back is something Ryan Reed and his mom will have to do because their road trip includes visits to California national parks. A lot of our outdoor activities will be canceled. And to give you an idea of how dangerous it is out here, the mud on the ground is so dense, my boots are actually sticking to the ground, so it's really hard to move here. We should also tell you that the Ventura County Fire Department has deployed two swift water teams to be ready to go for any emergency calls for this latest storm. For now, we are live in Ventura. Jeff Nguyen, KCAL News. All right, Jeff, thank you.